What's up guys? So this week I got some new toys for the 91 MR2. So uh, let's unbox this box and see what's inside. All right, so what we got here is a polyurethane um, front lip. It'll go right under this, like this. And um, this is my first polyurethane lip, so it looks pretty good. Um, it's very nice and smooth. This cost uh, like 70 bucks off of eBay. and. Um, the difference between polyurethane and fiberglass is that polyurethane is a lot better. Uh, the one on my uh, spider is fiberglass and it, there's cracks all over it um, that I have to sand down and like smooth it out. But this, um, it will not crack. See how it can bend? Uh, you can even bend it in the middle like this. Don't recommend doing that too long, but because it's a plastic, it it can uh, withstand a whole bunch of, of um, abuse from it and it's smooth so I can wrap right over it whatever color I want so if you can get a polyurethane one I def definitely recommend um, getting polyurethane instead of fiberglass okay so um, I also got this authentic Bomex side skirts for the, uh, the MR2 as well. Um, these ones, they will go on uh, on the side. Let me grab the other one. So this one has the, uh, the vent thing too, so it's gonna go on like this and um, cover the vent there. These side skirts, I got from a guy that is local and uh, all I did was um, I just went on to Craigslist, typed in MR2 side skirts and uh, this came up. This guy is a guy that is nearby and he uh, just collects a whole bunch of MR2s he just uses them to sell parts and um, he happened to have these and um, these uh, were a hundred dollars and online Bomex or uh, Grady ones which are the best fitment are about 300 bucks, 400 bucks or so. Um, brand new. So uh, this does have some damage, you can see right here. But this is easily repairable. What you do is you just sand it on down and then uh, I, I do wrapping, so I'll just wrap right over it. Um, these are fiberglass, um, so I have to be a little more careful with this. But uh, what we're gonna do today is uh, we're gonna put these parts onto that car and I'm gonna teach you how to properly rice out your vehicle. So let's get started. All right, as you guys know, in the last video, um, I bought these rims off of offer up for 80 bucks. And then I sat them down and I repainted them. Uh, the, this is a um, rose, uh, copper rose. And uh, anyway, I was, off for, I was shopping online, you know, browsing, and then I saw these things. And this whole set, um, these are 18s. Well, this is 17s and um these are 18 by eight and a half that's what it says in the back um that's imprinted on the rim even though it doesn't look that much bigger next to these um but the lip is definitely wider and these on offer up was 60 dollars so i got it from this very nice lady um she just had them sitting in her garage so 
uh, since these are wider and bigger and 18s do fit on the 91 MR2 we're gonna go with these and I'm gonna refinish these as well uh, I'm not really a fan of the black uh, I do like the silver trim or the the chrome trim so I'll, I'll I'll keep the trim and then I'm probably gonna do these another color and uh, I'm gonna sell these all right so this is all done um, there is if you look in here there's a bolt right here and uh, there's a bolt uh, back here somewhere um, you can feel it on the original uh, panel and then there's a bolt down here as well and then um, the panel is held on by that bolt that bolt and this bolt and then right inside here is a, uh, a bolt and then down here is a clip anyway so what you want to do is uh, you want to go inside you pop your seat forward you roll it forward here and uh, you can take off this little storage compartment panel it'd be easier to get to what I did was um, I just popped the uh, the door thing out and then uh, back here way in there is a uh, see that little hole right there it's, there's a 10 millimeter uh, open top uh, bolt behind the uh, this um, seat belt thing and you have to undo that anyway it is hooked on to this part right here by a, a bolt um, so there's a there's a there's a thing built into this thing and then you just screw it on uh, you need a 10 millimeter uh, socket wrench like this um, deep socket to get in there it's a bitch and if you uh, if you lose the nut between transferring it back and forth you have to get none because it falls down into the the body panel so um, I think you're gonna need some kind of um, what you call it some kind of uh, magnet uh, thing to hold on to it if you have one um, here there's these uh, nut holes that I could bolt into the frame but this thing is on there pretty good without it I don't think I'm gonna do it no need it to uh, drill any holes that you don't need right uh, we'll see if it doesn't work out well I'll, I'll drill the holes anyway um, so that's how you put on the bomb excite skirts and uh, here I got a new rim uh, originally I was gonna go with those other um, 17s that bolt on just you know like there's 17s with the the regular 40 offset you know the offsets that's way to the front uh but then i found these and these are like i said they're 60 dollars and they're a little dirty right now but look at this damn look at that fitment so uh i'm not sure what offset these are but these are 18 by eight and a half and damn they look good all right they're gonna look good Put some uh, slightly stretched tires on there i'm not sure how to take these nuts off i'm gonna find out so what i'm gonna do is grind down all this curb rash here and then i'm going to um uh, i'm not sure how to fix this little indent but it's not a big deal i, I don't think i'm even gonna bother with it and then i'm gonna uh, sand all this black down and i'm gonna repaint it in uh, a different color but it's gonna look amazing um, so I got a whole pair for all around so the front's gonna have a little poke probably but we'll see
so this one's a little harder um, than the side skirt actually it's got a shit ton of bolts so uh, this the this is the OEM part and it sticks to the bottom of the bumper and it's it's in two pieces so this is the piece on the driver side and um, you see there's bolts here bolts here bolts here 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 and they're all held on by these little clamps here and then the bolt goes through it so what you're going to do is take all those off and then you transfer the clamps uh, onto here like so yep fits perfectly into these holes here and then you just uh, screw it on to the um, the bottom part of the car okay all right the front lip is on and it's looking super good um yeah i love the way this fits uh, it fits pretty good uh, Bows out a little bit right here, but um, I think it will settle over time If not, I'll just uh, go back and readjust but uh, The rest of the fitment is great, and I like how it's Very flexible so not worry about curbing it on stuff um, Yeah all right, so that concludes tonight's episode of how to properly rice out your MR2. I'm going to finish the side skirt tomorrow and I'm um, going to go watch a movie right now and sand those rims down so that I can get them painted and hopefully I can get some tires on there soon and put them on the car. I know they're going to be looking super awesome. Tell me how you like the build so far and uh, what else should I do on this one. All right, so if you like what I'm doing on this channel, Please like and subscribe and leave a comment. If you think I'm a ricer, you're definitely right. Because I love rice and uh, I eat it all the time. Anyways, uh, I'll catch you guys next time.